All right, so I'm gonna be doing a chapter three on 100% IL. This one is special because you can do this one all in one go and that's what we're gonna try to do. It's actually pretty easy, if as long as you know how to do Zook Loops. Uh, three Skylanders we're gonna be using a Ghost Roaster, Zook and Bash. At the beginning of this, we would actually be using Stealth Elf in a full 100% run because we'd end chapter two with Stealth Elf and beginning is just a little bit faster with Stealth Elf. Plus, we can take out Bramble with Stealth Elf. That's the main reason why. Bramble with Ghost Roaster is incredibly slow. But for speed purposes, we're just going to start with Ghost Roaster. And we wouldn't be Stealth Elf for very long anyway. We would literally switch to Stealth Elf like right here. So we're going to grab this key. We need to grab the key, and then we're going to do the skip. You also need to do the skip. You cannot enter the key. I guess you can, but it's just slower. And you'll see why. Zook had, uh, had a portal error, so, oops. Uh, Zook is not very well positioned. Uh, still not very well positioned. Oh, he might be okay. Come on. Okay, Ghost Rush is going to do something funny here, I think. Ah, uh, he's fine. That was an okay Zook clip. Not great, but I'm not too worried about it. Okay. Crit. Oh, usually I crit this enemy. I think you could just double dash. Alright, so be careful with these enemies. Thankfully we killed them. But they will move and move over to the left at the end of the dock. And if they do that, then you, you can't really kill them. <laughs> Otherwise you'll fall off the dock. I mean, I guess you could try. By the way, you'll always hit that propeller. Uh, and then we'll end up missing the undead gate. What the heck? Uh, the other thing is, if you just leave them there, they'll despawn. So, we don't want that. Alright, so we grabbed the key so we could open this gate. Uh, it is about 20 seconds slower to grab the other key. Plus, there's no enemies, so. We want to grab the first key, so. It puts the very first skip in this chapter to even more use. I go on the bounce pad because I think it's faster to move in air. But my theory could be wrong. Anyway, so grab the hat, and we're good. You can see the key there in the distance. Don't go directly down. Yeah, you're going to want to go around this direction. All right. So no enemies despawned, we killed them both. Now we're gonna kill these enemies. Failed to push that one off the edge. Oops. There it goes there. We're gonna do the easy zoo clip. For whatever, Zook doesn't like the portal very well. Very much. So whenever I put Zook on the portal, sometimes it just hesitates. I think Ben's has the same problem. All right, and that's it for Zook. Sorry, we didn't really use them for a whole lot. You're gonna want to head over to the story scroll, collect it, hit A, and take out these enemies. Sort of take out these enemies. Did I just crit them both? I think I just crit them both. Yeah, you can kind of ignore the spell punk, because you have to get this chest anyway. Alright. Come on. It's a slow. Alright, so here's something really important. Uh, I'll grab this and explain. You need to finish this battle gate. Otherwise, in the earth gate, you cannot... Well, it's really hard to collect the hat. I'm not sure why, there's just an invisible wall in the earth gate that uh, does not go away until you beat this... Uh, until you beat that battle gate. So this is the first time you'll see us use this. Uh, or see me. I don't know why I said us. One person. Thank you very much. Once you see the player two and player one symbols appear, you can go. Uh, oh, I went around. What the heck? Cool. Uh, <laughs> I put player two on to use Bash. Bash is not bad with movement, but uh, not as cool as Ghost Rister. Oh, yeah, so you have to. You don't want to dash for that one. Ooh. Alright, so we're going to drop down. Ooh, wait. I thought I'd dash into him. All right, we're gonna go back on the bounce pad, wait for this rock, boom. Uh, I like doing this one risky. Okay, yeah, I wouldn't have gotten that anyway. You have to go down there anyway. Usually I like trying to go for a risky strat, see if I can get it really fast to get the hat. And if I fall, you have to go down there anyway, so it doesn't hurt, ooh. All right, so the invisible is onto that island. It's a really stupid invisible. Yeah, it would have been right there. You can barely still get onto it with like stealth elf. 
But we don't really want to use stealth off. At least I don't. Okay. We're not going to do a Persephone skiff. Because we need to take out these enemies. If you do the Persephone skiff, you can actually enter that little, little legendary treasure section. Oh, you fool. This guy decided to run all the way down. Get over here. Nice crit. But it's still going to be slow. And, oh, come on. Anyway, we're going to take out these enemies. You usually want to go on to the left side to take them out quick. Alright, and now both of these gates will drop, and we're going to go over, kill an enemy, and get the legendary treasure. For Chompy Pods, you just hit them with two hits of anything, whether it's your A attack or your B attack. Now that A attack hit late, but it still hit. So you can just like A and then dash while heading into the, the teleporter. That legendary treasure is like, I don't know, the beta version of the wing boots. It's actually kind of a funny item, because we literally just have wing boots. But they made something that looks similar to wing boots. I guess they aren't the same though. Alright, so new skip. Is the only difference between this and the last 100% IL. Please don't mess this up again. Okay, good. Second try is fine. But we used to use Stump Smash for that. I forgot to show the results, so I guess I'll just do that real quick, just to clarify. And my capture card did something funny. At least it turned green after. Oh no, now people are going to think I'm cheating. Ah, it's fine. I didn't cheat. Cool. There you go. And that's chapter 3 for you. It's a very unique IL. Uh, I would suggest anyone just do this one for fun, honestly, because it's done in one go. Only three Skylanders, and it has some pretty hard but fun strats, and I think it's really uniquely routed. All right, thanks for watching. Not barely anything new in this IL, but, well, I guess I improved upon my PB, so I did something. I did something right. All right.